sweating. I'm sweating. I'm going to quickly film this intro now and take this wig off because I'm dying, okay? <laughs> Hello, my gorgeous guys and ghouls and all you spooky queens in between. Again, it's another wig and as I state at the end, like it's not a lace front, that's why I'm kind of sitting out of shot. <laughs> but I'm going to be showing you how I created this pastel little moment and I am low-key obsessed with it. I I don't rate pastel eyeshadows at the best of times just because it's not my preference. I want eyeshadow to be in your face. If I'm going to do eyeshadow, I want it to be dramatic as absolute like heck. Like I don't want no muted bits. Like I want in your face. So I don't know if it's that that's making me a bit hmm, but if you would like to see how I achieved this look, then keep on watching. I do just want to state that this is also a collaboration with some of my favourite girls over on Instagram. We bonded over a mutual love for makeup and we've been friends ever since. So I will leave their Instagram accounts linked down below. And if you go over to my Instagram page and find the full face look of this, then <laughs> swipe along and you'll be able to see their looks that they've done as well. But without further ado, we shall get right into the video. Let's get this over and done with. So obviously I'm going to be going in with the Beauty Bay Pastels palette. I have already swatched it. So this is what the palette looks like. And I shall put my swatches here. They are up on my Instagram already if you want to go and have a look at the picture a bit closer up and stuff. But I, I've i wanted this palette for so long. I just... I don't do pastel. So it put me off buying it. Which is stupid because it's a pastel palette. Like, But I wanted it. I don't, I don't know. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. And I'm not using my usual trusty Anastasia Beverly Hills one. I'm going to be using the Beauty Bay Eye Base. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it says it literally all the way around the tube. But yeah, I'm going to be using this. Oh, oh, it's a, it's a wand. All right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the one eye on camera. And then I'll go off camera, do the other eye, my face and everything. And then I'll come back and report back and all that shebang. So I'm just going ahead... I'm like, I don't even know, like, how how much you're supposed to put on. I'm just going to kind of lather it on. Hope for the best. And pack that in. I mean, it, it blends out nice enough. It doesn't feel as thick as the ABH one. But I'm, I'm constantly on the hunt for a cheaper alternative to the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Because that stuff is incredible and it literally like even like the worst palette it makes it work so i need to find a cheaper alternative i've got like i think i've got like three i'm nearly empty on the one that i'm using currently but then i think i've got two or three backups as a just in case um from when i was on their pr but yeah no, yeah, that blended out all right. I want to use the pastels palette, obviously, but then I've also got these. Um, can you see these? There we go. The um, pastel cake liners from Toxic Attraction. Oh, there's a yellow one as well. And I missed out. <laughs> um, so I, obviously, I've kind of got a colour to match each of these in the palette, and my plan is to do the standard wavy thing that I always do um, in the eyeshadow and then outline it possibly with the cake liners. We shall see, we shall see where this takes us. So I think I'm going to go in with first light, the yellow in the inner corner, um, go into serenity and then days on the next bit. Can you blend green into purple? Probably can't. <laughs> Um, fluff it, we'll try anyway. We might go days into, I'm just going to try and use as many of them as I possibly can to be fair. So yeah, I'm going to take fresh, uh, first light on an eyeshadow palette. I've heard mixed reviews, oh god it's on my nose. I've heard mixed reviews on this eyeshadow palette, like I've heard loads of people say that it's amazing, like for a pastel, like what do you expect for a pastel palette? Like it's not going to be blinding intense colours because they're pastel eyeshadows um and I think I don't know I think that's what kind of puts me off pastel 
eyeshadow and I just, ugh, I don't know. I want it to be like proper in your face. I mean, that yellow is performing perfectly fine. So I don't really understand what people are grumbling at. I can see that yellow. And then I'm going to go into the light green, which is Serenity. Just doing it on the same brush because I'm a tramp. Oh, don't want that there. This base actually goes a little bit tacky as well, which is quite nice. I'm just going to pack in up all over here. I don't know if I like that one. I think it's because green is my favourite colour. So if I have a green eyeshadow that doesn't like pop, then I'm just like, eh. I think because I've done these sections quite large, I can't really go in with the green shade, this one, like the tealy green shade. Is it? coming across like a teal on here but that's more of like that's more of like a grass green that one's more like a dark green and then that's teal but that's coming across blue on here so I think I might go in with the orange which is golden hour and then go into one of these three I haven't decided yet we'll do the orange first yeah I don't know I just feel like it looks very wishy-washy but again it's a pastel palette so what what are you expecting i think my take back from this is i'm glad that this was only 10 pounds i think i even paid less in before christmas i think it was uh, i think it was like seven pounds something so like i'm glad i didn't spend that much on it because in reality i just don't think i'm going to get the use out of it i mean it's doing the job and it looks all right like the colors there i just don't gravitate to pastel shades my brush is pretty gross now so i'm gonna get a clean one <laughs> so i think how much space have i got left probably due to like here one color and then go out so i might go what have we got up there orange i might go for lovesick and then day yeah lovesick and then daydream i really like that daydream shade so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going in with the pink and we're just going to stamp that up on there. I mean I think out of all of the eyeshadows I think I'm not a pink person but that pink is the better performing but I like the yellow as well. I feel like the green and the orange kind of don't really do that much. Like, like in person I don't know if it's my camera and my lights that are making it look like let me see if I can turn the brightness down I don't know. A faff of my lighting now so if it's gone brighter or darker then i'm sorry i mean this palette wasn't created for it to be a pack a punch makeup look it's a pastel eyeshadow palette it is a pastel matte eyeshadow palette like it's doing what it says on the tin i've got another brush <laughs> because i didn't want to mucky up the yellow and if you if you're willing to sit and pack the colour on and take that little bit extra time to work at it then I think you can get it to work quite nicely but I don't know I've just never really been into the pastel fad and everything so I don't know if I will ever really reach for this again and now I'm just going to go in with daydream to do the tail flick bit Me being me, I want to put some intense colours into this because it just looks really like desaturated and rough. But we'll just keep going with it, we'll just keep going with it. So I've got the general shape now, so I'm going to just quickly try and match the colours up to the liners now and then I'll come back to you and let you know which ones I've picked. Okay, so from Toxic Attraction um, Cake Liners, we've got Lemon Drizzle for the yellow obviously to key lime for the green peaches and cream for the orangey peach color angel delight for the pink and blackberry dream for the purple now when it comes to doing liners i just use paint brushes these are like really cheap ones off of ebay and things like that if i can get a nice point and i can get like 20 in a set for like two three quid i'm gonna do it <laughs> So I'm just going to take my fixing spray and spray inside the yellow one to begin with. Now that I've got some on the brush, I'm going to attempt to go around the outside of the yellow first. Oh, 
palette. It's like to say this is a pastel liner. Ooh wee. Like I don't hate the palette, but I don't like the palette at the same time. So I'm just going in with the green one again. I've just sprayed it with my setting spray again. Oh, I feel like they look the same on camera, but in person you can see the like the yellow and the green. And I feel like on my Instagram I'm starting to do macro shots and I feel like you're gonna be able to see it like beautifully. Going in with peaches and cream. Oh, I thought I'd messed it up then. So again, setting spray. The setting spray I'm using is just the iHeart Revolution. In fact, this is like old school. This is the iHeart makeup fixing spray. Um this is amazing stuff i don't even know if you can still get it so mine's probably well out of date but it's not done anything bad to me yet so i'm just gonna keep using it all right so i've got peaches and cream on the brush and i'm just going to again go out around the outside of the orange i think i've made that too flat oh no it's fine we're good next one oh i don't even think i've used this one. Oh no I've Angel Delight. This one doesn't look as messed up as the others, so I feel like this has probably just been swatched and then not used again. Same as I said, I'm not a massive pink person, so I don't think I would have ever used this. Again, the brush is loaded up with the pink. And we're going to go back in. Oh, that liner though. <laughs> and then I'm going in with Blackberry Dream for the outside part. And I don't know if I'm going to bring it down the bottom. We shall see. I don't know if doing a black liner is going to be too much on a pastel eye look. Or do I carry on the liner of the top line on the bottom? I don't know. <laughs> That liner looks sick. Oh my god. What do I do? What do I do on this part of my eyeball? I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Do I try and not do a liner? I feel like a look like this needs to remain soft. So I'm going to get some, instead of my, my dramatic, normal go to lashes, I think I'm just going to get some nice. Fluttery, fluttery ones or something. I don't know. I'm just going to put some mascara on. I'm going to be using the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. I love the green one. Mine's very well loved. All the writing's coming off. It's just a, a banging mascara. I do need to get a new one. This is like coming to its end. But I just kind of coat the lashes. Just so they don't look so pale against my false lash. People keep talking to me. Go away. <laughs> I'm building. Like this mascara on its own is incredible. If you don't feel like wearing lashes, it does a banging job. So I'm going to go and quickly find some lashes that can go with this to make it look nice and soft and ethereal. That's the, the vibe I'm going for. So I'll be right back. What's up? I am going for the V Cosmetics, what really itchy eyeball, doesn't bode well for when I have to do that eye. Going for the VE Cosmetics um, false lashes, these are the new ones and they're in the style Green Witch. I just feel like I'm gutted because you didn't get to see how nice these are in person, in my last film, whatever, but they've got green lashes in them so I feel like on the macro shot on my Instagram, it's gonna look banging. So, I'm gonna plunk in some glue onto here. I say, as I said, I would use the Strange Magic liner, but I don't want this look to be taken over and become too intense with black. Like, I do want to keep it nice and like whimsical and fairy like with the pastels. So whilst I wait for that, to, oh, again, I'm doing it like this way. So it's going to be really awkward. I'm just going to kind of wait for this to dry. Dry, not this. 
that. How's lockdown? Which one are we in? Three, four. How's it treating you? I'm alright. Same as I said in either my last video or the video before. I feel like this is the new normal now and I'm used to it. Like we went through like months and months and months of it last year. So I'm kind of just I'm expecting that this time around. So it's not it's not a shock to me. Like I'm used to it. My mindset hasn't changed since March 2020. Like I only go out for essentials, like food shopping trips or doctor's appointments and things like that. So nothing's changed for me. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. My mental health is doing a heck of a lot better as well, which is buzzing. When the schools closed this time around, I found it a bit difficult. Like I was, I could feel myself getting to a bad place again because I was just like oh god like money all this like everything was going around in my head like no this can't be happening again but then I don't know I just kind of talked myself out of it and I was like it's fine you've done it before you managed perfectly fine before you can do it again and it was like bing, like rational Chantel just fighting her way through so we like that See, putting eyelashes on without liner is terrifying because liner hides a multitude of sins. But this is going to have to be like super close up to my lash line and it's going to be outing me for being terrible at applying false eyelashes. So keep your mouth shut. Take back everything I just said. I am a lash wizard. See, I don't know what I've got to do to the inner corner. I might just like tight. Oh, sorry. I might just tight line the uh, the inner corner just so it isn't as obvious. Taking the dark side waterproof gel liner from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm just gonna see it hides it better. So the eyeliner hides lashes better. Right, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera, do the other eye, do my base and all that shebang, and then we'll come back to do the lower lash line and then decide on a lip colour because black lipstick isn't going to look great with this, but I've got some obnoxious colours. So, Right, so I've gone ahead and I've done the other eye. I've put my lashes on. I've put my primer, foundation, concealer and powder on. But I have these new beauties. So I have a highlighter from Beauty Bay, a blush from Beauty Bay, and a contour bronzer from Beauty Bay. And I wanted to try these and I wanted to film a first impression. So this is kind of a Beauty Bay testing video of sorts because I've used the eye primer and I've used the pastel palette. So I thought I would give these a go as well. So I have the bronzer shade in the shade Donut. And these are cruelty free and vegan so i don't know how intense they're going to be so i'm just going to like lightly tap hope for the best i think i can put a bit more on i don't want to go like too ham and then have a really harsh line i think that's all right it's quite nice yeah i would say very light-handed with the brush um, and then just circular motions to blend it in like so so every time I'm just kind of like dipping twice and then the circular motions to work it into the skin let's go around the hairline I'm just gonna, I always do this with my contour bronzing powder I just kind of like dot it and then buff it in kind of thing So yeah, the Donut Bronzer Contour Shade. I quite like it. Uh, is it going to replace my Freedom one? I don't. I've tried so many bronzers, like even the ABH one, I use the shade, I think it's Tawny. And because it's so pigmented, it intimidates me and it scares me. And like, you need the lightest touch. And if you don't, then you're gonna end up with like an intense poo stain on the side of your face. 
I like a bronzer and that lot that I can build up and it's like not as pigmented if that makes sense because you can add more but you can't take it away okay right so next I'm going in with the blusher in the shade coral coral say the word coral oh, I can't say the word coral without automatically thinking of that walking dead meme where it's just like coral coral so the shade coral <laughs> and it's just a really nice coral blush so again I need to go like super light-handed with this because if this is like intensely pigmented then it's going to be insane right I'm just gonna kind of I don't know if it's a bit too pinky for me like to say that it's a coral shade like, I like orange blush And I know some people really don't like the blush on the nose thing, but I love it. I feel adorable when I have a little blush nose. That's probably a lot. So I'm just going to take my powder brush and cancel that down a little bit. There we go. It's nice. It's pigmented enough. I just, I think it's a little bit too pink for me. Like I'm looking at it and I want it to be more orange. So, I mean, I'll use it. It'll get use out of it. So, oh. and then the piece de resistance is the highlighter from Beauty Bay in the shade Beam. And this looks beautiful. Let me just uh, swatch it quickly. Look at that. Get on my face. I'm take my highlighter brush. I'm just going to swirl it. Oh, there's a lot of kickback. I'm just going to swirl it in. You ready? One, two, three. I've put that way too low down. <laughs> oh. What? Yep, new favourite. New favourite. Like it. I like it a lot. Look, moustache. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. So the highlighter in Beam, a million percent recommend. This is, yep, I'm going to buy more of these. So now we're going to go into the lower lash line. I'm going to be using the Makeup Obsession da -da -da -da, So Call Eyeliner in In Your Dreams. And it's just a white eyeliner. I'm just gonna run this up in here. I used to absolutely love doing white eyeliner in my waterline. Like if you've followed me on Instagram for a while, in like 2018, 2017, I was doing white eyeliner all the time. Like any and every look had white eyeliner. I just made my eye water really bad. But ugh. We gotta, we gotta work through it. Right, okay, here's the next one. Does anyone ever look good when they're doing eyeliner or mascara? Like, it's a serious question. Right, so I put the white eyeliner on, on my lower lash line. And I think, I'm not gonna bother running the colour on the, low, the lower lash line. I'm just gonna go ahead and put the tiniest little bit of mascara on, just to keep it very cute and... Like so. so I'm just gonna do the other eye now. <laughs> so mascara done. That is the eyes. Done. I think this looks absolutely beautiful like again I've heard so many people slating this palette 
and I get where they're coming from like it's a pastel eyeshadow palette so it's not going to perform to the level of other eyeshadow palettes you have because pastel pigments aren't pigmented that much they've done the job I can see them on my eye like it's 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 done the look that I wanted it to do so I genuinely can't see any complaints with it like and for the price I paid it was like four five pounds I think in the sale so you really cannot grumble at that and clean the piercings Now I've got to try and figure out what I want to wear on my lips and I've got a lot. Do I keep it like neutral or do I have a crazy lip colour? I don't know. I don't know if it will feel too much. Let me just fix and spray my face. So I'm going to take pictures later. So we want it to be locked in. <laughs> that really hurt my wrist. Oh my god. <laughs> Here is my Mama Jamma collection of V Cosmetics um, lippy things. This has got moisture liquid lipsticks, unicorn goos, matte ones. Um, what are these? Oh, I've got the Bewitch sticks. I don't think these are available anymore. And I've also got the Liquid Stardust, but I believe these are for eyes. I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, they're all really pretty colours. But I don't think that they're available anymore so I don't want to use something that's not available do I go for a, a grey lip? it's not quite black so it's a muted version of black you know when you really love a lipstick so you have multiple of them oh there's another one here I think I'm going to go in with Misty this is just a normal liquid lipstick and I feel like I can get away with it because it's not black okay I'm just going to go in with Misty Yeah, that works, that works, it's good. Yeah, that doesn't look too crazy, does it? I've just realised my eyes aren't the same. Like, I think I like the shape of this one better than that one. This one's more wide, whereas this one swoops nicely. I don't don't really know what I'm doing and then I'm just going to go in with the bewitch stick and I'm just going to put a bit in the middle area I think if I don't like it I'll take it off I'm just going to go like that and tap it in and I get a bit more on my top lip Whew. oh I like it oh my god Right, do I wear a wig? What do I do? I feel like every time I pull this wig out, I hate myself a little bit more because I love this wig, but it's not a lace front, so it just looks so bad at the top. And I've tried to find a lace front in this colorway and I can't, but if I just kind of sit a bit higher, it might be okay. I don't know if I like this lip now. So I might take it off. I might take the shiny bit off and just put the matte on. I feel like I kind of like a bit like a space alien. Which isn't bad. It's just not the vibe I'm going for. Oh, it's just so, so big. And the colour is beautiful. Like it doesn't look like a fake blonde. Do you know what I mean? Like it just looks like a really nice blonde. It's so naughty. Like, ew. If I kind of just... Hold it constantly, we're fine. Ding. But anyways, this is the finished look. As I said, the uh, the shape isn't straight, symmetrical, whatever you want to say. But I am obsessed. Like I think I'm more obsessed with the liner than I am the eyeshadow. It it did what it said. It did what it said it was going to do. It's a pastel eyeshadow palette. Like, what more can you want? I can see the colours are there. It's just pastel. So, yeah, I feel like just because it's a pastel eyeshadow, I'm I'm just not going to reach for it, I don't think. I think I might try and force myself to reach for it more often. Like, as we get into, like, spring months and stuff, it could be good then. But I just don't ever see myself wearing eyeshadow like this, ever. 
I'm not mad with how the look turned out. Like, it's what I had in mind. And I think it looks really, really nice. I really, really, really rate the um, highlighter in the shade Beam. And do you know what? Even the eye base, I think I need to try this eye base with an eyeshadow palette that I use regular. Just so I can see how it competes kind of thing. Or maybe use ABH primer with the pastels palette and see if I can get a different payoff kind of thing. But like at the moment, I'm I'm not mad. Like everything performed to its ability that I expected it to. And I ain't mad. If you've seen my last handful of videos, you will know that I've had a massive makeup haul. I got makeup for Christmas, etc. Like I have a lot of makeup already. Would a makeup tour kind of thing be something that you would want to see? I don't want to do it in a sense of like, oh, look at all my makeup. Like, I just want, like, I, I like watching makeup tour, tour, how do you say that word? Um, videos of other YouTubers and stuff. So I don't see why I shouldn't do it. Like, same as I said, I want to produce content that I like watching. That's what I want to do. So what do you think? And it could also be like a stepping stone for you to be like, oh, can you do a, a look on that palette? Can you do a look on that palette? Because you'll know what I have then. <sighs> this wig is making me very, very hot. So I think I'm going to have to quickly shoot off and <laughs> take it off, take photos and stuff. <sighs> but if you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you are notified every single time I upload a video. I upload every Wednesday and Sunday at 6pm. Do you have the pastel palette from Beauty Bay and do you rate it? Like... I don't know if my own niggle with pastel eyeshadows is what's stopping me from liking this palette. Like, it looks beautiful. It does really look beautiful and it worked really, really nicely. And I think the pastel shades help hide a multitude of sins as well. Like, I didn't blend these all that great. But because it's pastel and because it's muted, you can't tell. So... As I stated at the beginning, this look was a collaboration with some of my favourite girls on Instagram. Um, we met through our love of Makeup Revolution and we've just been friends ever since. We've got a group WhatsApp chat and everything. We just talk absolute ramble all the time and I love them to pieces. So be sure to go and check out my Instagram feed so you can check out their looks. The collaboration is with Shelly, Louise and Emma. I will leave their Instagrams and everything linked down below in the description. And same as I said, if you go over to my Instagram page and find the full face post of this look and swipe along, you'll be able to see their looks with the palette. So on that note, I shall see you on the next one. Bye.